Hi guys, so I am back with a another review and also drug care. Um, <laughs> um, it's been a little while since I've done a review. I've just been a little busy, but today I'm going to review This Is War by Lisa and Laura Roker. Yeah, yes. And this is a contemporary book about well, it's like a dark contemporary book and it's about this girl named Willa Ames Rowan, Row, Rowan, yes, Willa Ames Rowan, and she is at this country club. She's like a popular rich girl. It's pretty much about that world, like the popular, like the rich, wealthy world. And anyway, she's at a Fourth uh, of July party at a country club, and she goes off. She gets drunk, she goes off with this guy named James, and then James comes back alone, and everybody knows that he killed her. That's not a spoiler or anything, that ha it happens right at the beginning of the book, and it says it even in this little flap here, so I'm not spoiling anything by saying that. It's just kind of like the main part of the story right there. Um, that's what the plot focuses around. And then, one thing I really like about this book is this beginning part here. If I can find it. Like, this beginning part here in the italics. And then at the ending in italics. I'm not gonna look for it. Maybe I'll look for it. And this ending here in italics is uh, Willa's kind of perspective of that night and the main bulk of the story is these four girls which is her stepsister Madge and then her friends Lena S what's her name um, Sloan Lena Sloan and Rose they all create this thing called this war, called war, and they try to pin the uh, Gregory family for Willa's murder because they know that they're behind it. And the Gregory family is pretty much like this family that's like above the law. They're they don't get in trouble for anything. Eh anything like that so, and they're trying to cover it up even though everybody knows what happened everybody's trying to cover it up and say that um, it, they didn't do it they're making up lies and telling stories just to go kind of go about their normal day without having to take the Gregory's down since they're above the law so that's pretty much what the story is about and every like little part it's books divide up into uh, four or five parts and each part is from a different one of the four girls in the war's perspective and at the end of each of their parts it tells what they saw that night through their eyes so it's really interesting and really really good I gave this a 4.85 out of 5 stars I thought it was really good I don't usually gravitate gravitate towards contemporary books but I found I guess that I like the darker contemporary reads I really enjoyed this I thought that the it kind of went you know you kind of knew a little bit where it was going but uh, still the way that they got there was really good I love each of the characters and each of the characters grows exponentially throughout this book. It's a really short book too. So but yeah, each character grows pretty exponentially, like I said, throughout this entire book. There is like I would have loved to see a part with James's perspective since like he's kind of like the topic, I guess, of this book. So I would have loved to see his perspective, what went on through his eyes of the night and everything, but other than that, I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was written really well, and I highly recommend it if you're into the darker kind of contemporary books. I highly recommend this one. So 
So yeah, that is it for this review. Hopefully I'll have time to do more since I am on summer vacation from college. So yeah. Anyway, that is it for this video. See so you next time. Bye!